Okay, so a day after the Absa Cape Epic, I thought I'd share my final thoughts on the race. What a race it was. 2024, the 20th edition of the Absa Cape Epic, featured the uh, most extreme weather uh, in the middle of the week with temperatures reaching up to 38 degrees. I remember one morning I woke up and there was um, 9.30 in the morning, it was 31 degrees, and that was where we were at uh, the bottom of the mountain. And the guys were saying that the higher they got up that mountain, the rougher it got. Fantastic organization as well to Corin and the team at the Absa Cape Epic. What a phenomenal job you did. Guys, I'm serious. It was really one of the smoothest races I've been to. I had a great time. I worked Water Point 1 and Water Point 2 every day of the week and, and then also had the privilege of doing some of the finish line stuff and I got to see some of the most incredible places. Starting in Lawrenceford, it's always great to visit Lawrenceford. We've done more than just a prologue at Lawrenceford in the years gone by and it's a really beautiful beautiful place. The prologue was hard. There was uh, 26 kilometers of riding, but a whole lot of climbing in a short space of time. We worked with Paul Valstar, which was loads of fun. Um, Paul is just, he's a dynamo, and um, once he starts going, you just jump in behind and slipstream and excuse the bike pun. Stage one uh, at Sarensburg, stage one and two at Sarensburg, and three, and then moving down the Wednesday. Stage one, two, and three were tough days, yeah. I mean, stage one was like, welcome to the Absa Cape Epic. Now climb up <laughs> thousands of meters of elevation. As I said, uh, we, by the time we got to stage three on Wednesday, uh, temperatures were high. The Queen stage was, uh, was meant to happen on the Thursday. It was meant to be 83 kilometers. It was reduced to 70, just over 70 kilometers because of the extreme heat that the riders were facing. But they still had close to 2,000 meters of climbing, so it wasn't an easier day necessarily, but a day that tested the riders and uh, tested their endurance, their heart, their spirit, their will, and they got through it. Then of course, stage five, the easy stage, uh, using parenthesis, so uh, inverted commas, um, was not easy at all. It was a shorter day, and the riders were all done by just after three o'clock, uh, but it set them up for a tough Saturday, and Saturday, the rain came, and with the rain came its own challenges. Raining in the morning in Stellenbosch, but a good ride through Stellenbosch, and then ending back at Kutzenberg on the sports fields of uh, Stellenbosch University. And then of course Sunday I worked Water Point 2 which was literally just up the hill from the finish line. The riders had to ride 48 k's to get to our water point. They could see the finish line if they looked to the right but then they were sent on another 19 k's with a nice little technical section to wrap it up. Down onto the fields of Kutzenberg, down that beautiful Absa Cape Epic finish line to that wonderful middle. To the riders from around the world, 50 plus countries that visited South Africa for the Absa Cape Epic in 2024, congratulations to you. To those riders that started the week and may not have finished it, my thoughts are with you guys. Uh, I have two friends, Harat and Daryl, that started and both of them had to withdraw on the Friday, which you can imagine just two days from the end must have been really hard. But you know what? You were there and you put all the effort in and we look forward to seeing you come back again in 2025. Yeah, the dreaded stomach bug seems to have avoided me, but then again, I did avoid a lot of the public spaces, also sanitized the hands regularly and uh, made sure that I kept it nice and neat and tidy. What a fantastic race. Thank you to every volunteer. Thank you to every staff member from the Absa Cape Epic. Thank you to Paul and Mike and uh, Paul Valstar, Sipo Mona, DJ Dane Lee, the international Ironman slash Epic DJ, uh, just to the whole crew. Massive thank you to all of the guys. We had a wonderful time to Annette and the team that managed us. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you next year. That's a wrap on the Absa Cape Epic 20th edition in 2024. See you next year. Bye. Hey, thank you for watching this YouTube video and to all of you who've subscribed, thank you to you and thank you for sharing the channel as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the bottom down below, click subscribe and tell a friend while you're at it. Always striving to bring you some great content and there's more to come.